Hi, I'm Flaky. Modern Warfare Zombies has been losing some of its steam lately. With Season 3 being just revealed, we are met with a lack of meaningful content that has caused players to move on to other games, me included. But what type of additions does the game need? That's what I'd like to talk about today. This is more of a open letter to High Moon Studios or whoever drawed straws and took over development of MWZ. This is in no particular order because everything here is important and if you have anything you'd like to add, feel free to leave suggestions down below. Welcome to my list of the 10 things Modern Warfare Zombies needs. Number 1. Revamped Cooldowns One of the main headaches of returning players are the egregious cooldown times. These cooldowns can range from 3 hours or 3 days. Imagine waiting 3 days to get one pack 3 crystal. Way to go buddy, it took us 3 days to make that potato salad. 3 DAYS! Anyone you ask will agree that these cooldowns are too long, but how can you go about them? Some would say to decrease the timers and that would be more than enough, but I think that there is another way. There is a better way already being used by the inserted weapons in the game. Whenever you lose an inserted weapon, you are on a cooldown timer. However, any XP that you earn while your weapon is on cooldown will decrease the timer. Apply that mechanic to the schematics. This would incentivize play and earning XP to decrease those cooldowns immensely. Another thing to consider is that duplicate schematics have no reward outside of an extra 1000 experience points. Let's make it so that if you extract with a schematic you already own, it instantly resets that cooldown, giving those items a purpose while also killing a lot of the downtime because you aren't able to craft any tools, crystals, etc. because you are on a long cooldown. Number 2. Better Loot Pools Imagine it. You're doing a contract in the Dark Aether. You fight tooth and nail and almost die in the process. Your reward? Two armor plates and a monkey bomb. The loot feels very underwhelming at times because the ends never justify the means that you go to reach it. You can make a 2016 cringe compilation of bad loot drops from this game alone. Simply put, there is too much fluff in higher tier reward rifts that it rarely makes completing those contracts rewarding. Taking a look at tier 3 for example, things like green ether tools, blue ether tools, blue armor vests, blue backpacks, and armor plates should not be in those rifts as most of these items would not even be serviceable items in tier 3, nor would you be most likely in tier 3 if you were still primarily using these items. I am not saying that you should get the best lootable items nearly every time, but what I am saying is that the reward with loot drops should primarily be rewarding and useful to the player. Number 3. More Zombies Doing contracts like raids can result in a lot of downtime. You're supposed to be defending a safe with a loud drill going off, an alarm that pretty much says, Alarm! 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 Some dumbass is trying to open the safe! Every zombie in the area come over here and try and kill them! Zombies should be swarming you. The exfils should be intense moments where you make one last stand to escape and get back to your base safe and sound. The exfils actually used to be very hectic, but this was changed weeks after launch due to performance issues. However, the player experience exfilling has become a lot less fun and engaging as a result. Generally speaking, more zombies should be spawning during contracts and exfils more consistently. In the Dark Aether, zombies are in overabundance and can overwhelm you if you are not paying attention. Contracts like Raids, Outlast, and even the x should follow suit and allow players to kill more zombies. Because, you know, it's a zombies game. Can't hurt the ad anymore, in. Number 4. World Events The map of Urzikstan is vast, with 24 players all on the map at the same time but rarely does it ever feel like the map has anything going on in it. World events are global activities that can happen in a big map that unites anyone willing to do it, with a one-of-a-kind activity you can't do anywhere else. Now we do have the Red Worm fight, but that requires you to track down the USBs and then wait until the end of the game to activate. This is a fun addition to the game, however more accessible world events should be added. Imagine having to go to the Orlov military base as Deadbolt are doing a mass evacuation of survivors and you have to defend them as a huge firebase Z style siege event occurs. Or using the Ethereum Neutralizer from the Act 2 mission to launch a attack in an area consumed by the Aether, the pushback to spread of Ethereum, or even 
fighting the storm crawler in the ether storm to delay the start of the storm. The possibilities are endless for a system like this and it adds something new and impactful to the gameplay loop. Speaking of impactful changes to the gameplay loop, number 5, Dynamic Zones. The world tiers or threat zones are static areas where depending on the zone you are in changes the difficulty of enemies. Because of this, a lot of players with high tier loot go to the red zone or tier 3. This can result in the zone feeling overcrowded, feeling as if you are doing a Olympic 100 meter dash just to get one contract, or also just feeling repetitive for going to the exact same locations every match with little change in the formula. Why not flip that on its head with dynamic zones? Not only would this make zones like tier 3 not feel like they are very small, but also add in a sense of exploration as the game incentivizes you to see new locations and do contracts you previously never would have done before. There are lots of fun and interesting locations for contracts to take place in, especially in tier 1. Allowing these locations to be in tier 2 and 3 opens up a lot of players to try contracts they never would have done otherwise. Now you could also make the argument that another way to implement a zone change is to make them both spread over time. But I personally feel this is a better way to go about it because I feel adding a bit of randomness to the zones can be more interesting when you have no idea what you're going to get into your next match. Let me know in the comments what form of zone changes you would prefer. Number 6. More Inventory Space As it stands right now, you are limited to storing 10 items max. This space feels very limited and makes stockpiling items with long cooldowns a annoying experience. A simple solution to this would be to double or even triple the amount of storage available. Combining this with cooldown changes, this will make inventory and resource management feel less tedious and allowing the player to build up more stockpiles so they can keep using items that previously go unused for reasons of no space or for its downtime. Hi, post-editing Flaky here. Turns out on April 3rd, Treyarch ended up releasing a tweet saying that they will be adding Exfil schematic cooldowns and doubling the stats. So, two of the changes that I mentioned have actually been approved to make it into the game. So, yay! Hopefully more of them come in. Number 7. A better atmosphere. This one I feel is more of a shot in the dark as far as things that would realistically be added goes. However, I think a little bit of set dressing goes a long way. MWZ takes place in Urzikstan, a fictional peninsula country in the Black Sea west of the country of Georgia, with inspiration of how this country looks coming from Syria and Turkey. Where am I going with this? Well, long story short, Urzikstan is home to a major civilian population, at least in the portion we play in. A Ethereum outbreak consuming a whole city and its surrounding areas should sow more signs of chaos, destruction, and dystopia. We should see destroyed buildings, fires, evacuation centers, military and police vehicles spread it all around, and so much more. This isn't random military base number 54. This is a provenance that hundreds of thousands, possibly millions of people lived in, traveled to, and called their home. Instead of adding a bunch of boxes to the raid contract in tier 3, add more set dressing to the world we find ourselves in. Sell us on the idea that we are here to contain an outbreak. Number 8. New Contracts Contracts are the lifeblood of Modern Warfare Zombies. These are the missions you will complete every time you play a match. There are currently 8 types of contracts in the game. Two of them are mainly focused on finding mercs. How many matches do you spend doing the same contracts over and over again? New contracts would add new experiences to the game and that should be made a priority. There are a handful of contracts from Outbreak that can come over, like Retrieval, a mission where you have to grab Ethereum canisters and bring them to a rock at the launch. Or Transport, where you bring a truck to set locations to retrieve Ethereum samples as you defend it and try to bring those samples to your drop off locations. We've talked earlier about adding to that atmosphere. How about a search and rescue mission where you must find and rescue survivors and VIPs to bring them to a helicopter expil so they can escape. There are plenty of great contracts done already from previous installments of Zombies that can easily be brought over as well as original ideas that can be implemented. Number 9. Weapon Rebalancing MWZ has over 115 weapons, see what I did there? With even more attachments like conversion kits, ammo types, and more. A lot of them, however, can feel lackluster or ineffective, especially Modern Warfare 2 weapons, shotguns, marksman rifles, snipers, melees, and even more. 
A lot of these weapons use multiplayer stats and rely on the damage multipliers given from pack a punch and rarity level to buff its damage. That works for some guns, but others it makes them feel very weak. Taking a look at each weapon and seeing if it's falling too far away from the pack should be a start, especially with the shotguns. Every weapon should feel valuable in some shape or form and have a reason to use it, especially the different ammunitions that can be equipped. In one of my previous videos, I tested almost every type of ammo in the game. I found that a lot of them just do not work in zombies. Make that a start. Make these things work and give it some love. Imagine if weapons like the Riot Shield allowed you to protect yourself from zombie attacks. Yet, you move slower, but you would have more protection. That's one example of giving the player more choices by actually rebalancing the weapons to work more effectively in zombies. One little honorable mention, so to speak, before we get to the top 10. I didn't want to give this a spot on the list because it should happen regardless, but that is quality of life instability fixes. There are plenty of areas of the game that need polish, whether it's the game stuttering along as you play, your vehicle being rubber banded all over the place, not to mention the amount of crashes that still occur from time to time. This needs to continue to happen, as well as improvements to pre-existing things. Like for example, the blood burner that you spawn from a key not being able to be stolen. Now that we got that out of the way, let's move on to our last one. Number 10, a new map. This one I wanted to save for last, as if we take all the other outline changes and apply them to a new map, it would be a major boost to replayability. I and other people were very shocked and confused when Fortune's Keep was not made playable in Zombies, especially when they used Zombies to advertise the map's addition to Warzone. Even in some of the promotional work, you can see things like Mimics, Ethernets, and other Zombie staples littered around the map. Having a new map in the game is a no-brainer and quite frankly, should have been made more of a priority internally in my honest opinion. And that has been my list of 10 things Modern Warfare Zombies needs. Now I do understand that the chances of a majority of these happening is slim. However, I wanted to talk about them because I really do enjoy this game mode and think it deserves much more. Who knows, maybe some of these will happen in a future game, the next Black Ops maybe. Anyways, without droning on too long, I thank you very much for watching this video. Have any ideas of your own? Leave them in the comments and drum up some conversation. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. You have a beautiful day, and remember, keep your head on a swivel.